A lot of people have been asking me recently about directory sites because, well, I guess in a way, my project estepona.life is a sort of directory site. It's full of information about the local places around here, the restaurants, the bars, the cafes, the hotels. So yeah, it's a directory site and people are asking how I created it. Now I created it the hard way. I created it by using custom fields and custom posts and with the help from Phil, you know, Phil, right? Phil from Spiderweb helps me with all my techie stuff. Yeah, we put the site together. But I've recently discovered there's an easier way. The easier way is, of course, to use a plugin that does all the directory stuff for you. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the plugin. It's free. You can find it in the WordPress plugin directory. Of course, there is a pro version available, which I'll talk about as well. But the free version is, is pretty good. You can do a lot with it. So I'm going to show you what you can do with the free version right now in this video. But just quickly, before we jump on the computer and do that, there's a lot of talk about directory sites right now. It's like a, a new opportunity for a lot of people after they moved on from niche websites. The reason for this, and I'm talking from experience, is that these kind of sites are still fairly easy to rank, especially if you're doing a local website. I found, for example, that when people do a search on Google for a particular place by name, and my site is ranking really well, and I'm getting quite a bit of traffic. I'm ranking on page one, I'm generally near the top, I'm hanging out with TripAdvisor and the location's official website, and yeah, it's working really well. Now, if you live somewhere like me that is quite touristy, then a directory site works really well because you can list all the great places for tourists to visit, which is what I've been doing. But if you don't live somewhere that's as touristy as this, there's still opportunities with a directory site. For example, maybe you'll put a website together about the local trades, maybe a site to find the best plumbers or maybe cover all the trades. Or maybe it's pets that you're into and you want to have a pet services directory for your local area. And of course, you can expand this into any niche you like. Maybe you're thinking about fitness and you want to create a directory website about all the local health clubs, the local fitness classes, local yoga sessions, or maybe you're into business and you want to have a directory website that lists all of the local business events, maybe the networking events, the local exhibitions. You know, you can really do whatever you like with a directory website. There's loads of opportunities out there. The plugin I'm going to be using in this video is Listem. It's a free plugin with a pro version too. Anyway, let me jump on the computer and show you this fantastic plugin. So here's a demo site that I've set up using Listem. Uh, as I said, it's a free plugin. You can easily add it. Just go into your WordPress dashboard, go to uh, plugins and then add new. And then if you just do a little search here for Listem, uh, it's this one here. Just install it and activate it. Now this site is also running the free theme that you can get for Listem. And again, you can install that from your WordPress dashboard. It's free. Just go into appearance and themes. Themes called uh, Listoma, 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 however you like to say it. Just go to add theme and you yeah, do a search for Listoma. And it's this one here. Again, you'll just click install and activate. And it's really easy to set up. There's a little wizard that pops up when you install it. This is some demo content that they provide. So you can have a play around with it um, straight off the bat. You don't have to worry about adding some data. But let me just show you a few of the features that you get. So this is all with the free version. We can have a look at um, one of these listings. So here's a listing. It's for a sample restaurant. You'd add your excerpt at the top. You can have an image and you can enter a whole load more text, some more images, which are a nice kind of little slider. You can add a little message from the owner. So say, for example, it's a restaurant directory you're doing. You can ask the owners for their comments. You've got some share buttons. Uh, I've got a form here for abuse, the contact info, some more details here in terms of the address. There's a map. There's the pricing. There's another contact form here. Um, really nice layout, I think. Uh, let me show you some of the other layouts that we've got. So these are for the kind of overview of the listings. You've got the uh, all the listings in a half map skin. So it'll add them all to a map. And then people can just click on the, the map and see what you've got. And then they can click through to one of the listings. You've got the opening hours here, which have been uh, filled in. Features. It's really good. It's very similar to the way that I've done my directory on Estepona Life. In fact, I wish I'd have found this plugin uh, when I was setting that up because I've used custom fields and 
did it all myself whereas this just takes care of everything so that's that's a nice one this uh listings with the half map uh we've got like a grid skin here so just a nice grid of all of your listings very nice there's a masonry skin which is quite similar but you've got a filter here i think i just missed one we got the uh the list which is like a list gives you more details on the right hand side and of course you've got a search at the top as well which is probably what people are going to use you've got a table skin everything in a nice table with all the details there's a slider skin there's a lot of different options you've got here so this is a slider so people can just you know swipe through good for a phone that one so yeah loads of different listing skins of course we've had a look at the uh the single listing which you know is comprehensive if we wanted to come in and edit this they just work just like a normal post in wordpress you just go to edit list uh listing you can give it a name got the details at the top here the location you put the coordinates in you can type the address in here if you don't want to put the coordinates in then you've got all the details in terms of you know the price of the place um You've got a, a maximum price, a description, price class. You can put all the working hours in here, the contact details, uh, a link there, maybe to their official website. You can put the owner remark in here, and then you've got the gallery down here. And then that's the excerpt. So if you've worked with WordPress posts, it's super easy to do. Of course, you could add a new listing just by coming up to new and then clicking on listing. So super easy, super straightforward. Now, I think this theme is really nice. The, the free list over theme is well integrated with, um, with the plugin, but the plugin will work with any theme you choose. So if you've got an existing website and you want to add a directory to it and you're running a different theme, that's absolutely fine. If you want to create a site where people can add their own listings, that's absolutely fine. Maybe it's like a buy and sell site or some other um, site where you want people to add their own listings. You've got this add listing button at the top. So people can click on that and then they can enter all the details themselves. Uh, and you can, of course, choose to um, moderate this and approve them. Uh, maybe you want to charge for it as well. That's not a problem with some of the premium add-ons. Let's take a look at some of those add-ons. Now you get all of these add-ons with the premium version or the pro version, I should say. And here are the prices on the um, premium version or the pro plan. One month is $27 a month. For one year, it's $189 a year, which is uh, pretty reasonable. And for that, you get access to all of the add-ons and all of the themes and all of the demos. Now, the add-ons are down here. We've got uh, the Pro add-on, which just gives you the Pro features. Got an Elementor add-on. So if you're using Elementor, works fine. Divi as well. Um, we've got the Ads add-on which is a free add-on actually, um, which allows you to insert ads easily into your directory sites, which you're probably gonna to wanna to do if you're gonna be monetizing. You've got an SMS add-on, a jobs add-on, franchise add-on, compare add-on, APS, there's so much here, Buddy Press, loads of add-ons. And yeah, these are all included uh, if you upgrade to the, uh, the paid plan. Or if you like, you can just buy them individually depending on what you like. One of the add-ons that I think is really cool is the subscriptions add-on, which allows you to do paid listings. Um, so, you know, if that could be a way that you're going to monetize your directory site. And most of these work with uh, WooCommerce, so it's very easy to accept payments and, you know, get all the features that you get with WooCommerce. So there we go, that's Listem. I'm going to be doing a full tutorial um, soon on how to create a site with this. Go through it in a lot more detail i'm going to create my own directory site and show you exactly how that's done so make sure you don't miss that make sure you're subscribed and if you enjoyed this video please click the like button below but until next time i wish you the best of luck with your websites see you later